What if I told you that you could generate a complete academic research proposal, title, abstract, methodology, timeline, and APA references in under 60 seconds using just one prompt? Most students spend weeks struggling with proposal structure, stressing over methodology sections, and wrestling with proper academic formatting. But there's an AI tool that can eliminate all of that frustration instantly. I'm about to show you the exact prompt that creates every section of a research proposal automatically. We're talking about a full 8-section academic document that would normally take you days to write, generated in seconds. But here's the thing, most people are using AI completely wrong for academic writing. They're getting generic, unusable content because they don't know how to structure their prompts properly. Today, I'll reveal the master prompt that produces publication-ready proposals, walk you through the complete refinement process, and show you how to export a professional document that meets actual academic standards. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to generate your own research proposal faster than you ever thought possible. Let's dive in. I added a special link to the AI tool that we will use in the description below. Before we get into the AI demo, it's going to be a lot of help to take a moment and ground everything in what a real academic research proposal actually requires. A lot of students jump straight into writing without realizing that proposals follow a very specific structure and every section serves a different purpose. By understanding that framework first, it becomes much easier to appreciate how the AI generates and later improves each part. A standard academic proposal is made up of eight core sections. It starts with a title, which needs to be clear, keyword rich, and reflective of the study's focus. Then there's the abstract, a tight 100 word overview that lays out the issue purpose, and direction of the research. The resource background follows, functioning like a mini literature review that provides context and identifies the gap your study hopes to address. Next are the research questions, usually one main question supported by two to four uh, sub-questions that are specific feasible, and academically relevant. After that comes the methodology, which is typically the longest and most detailed section. It covers the research design, data collection methods, sampling strategy, analysis procedures, and expected limitations. The significant section explains why the study matters and who benefits from it, while the timeline breaks down the major phases of the project in a realistic schedule. Finally, a proper proposal ends with references, usually 5 to 10 credible academic sources formatted in APA 7. The key thing to emphasize is that a proposal isn't the research itself, it's the roadmap. It shows that the student understands the field, knows that they want to investigate and can realistically carry out the project. Everything we will generate with AI in the next steps will follow this exact structure, so you guys can see how a well-crafted prompt maps directly into real academic expectations. All right, we will start by heading straight into Jenny.ai, the main workspace where this whole proposal is going to come together. Jenny isn't just another AI writing tool, it's built specifically for academic work. The interface, the features, the workflow, everything is designed for structured documents, clean citations, grounded research, and section-by-section -section refinement. That's exactly why we're using it here. It handles full academic proposals far better than a general chatbot. As the home page loads, we'll scroll through it slowly so you can get a feel for how the platform works. The feature list, the academic examples, and the overall layout make it clear that this is built for students and researchers. You'll be able to generate citations automatically, build outlines, pull information from uploaded PDFs, and refine drafts with a single click. All of this sets the stage for generating a complete research proposal from one well-crafted prompt. After that, we're going to click Log In. The dashboard opens to a clean, organized workspace. That's where new documents are created and where your entire proposal will take shape. But before we generate anything, we're going to take a look at the exact prompt that powers this entire build. This is the single instruction that tells Jenny.ai 
to produce every section of a complete academic research proposal. The title, abstract, background, questions, methodology, significance, timeline, and even the full APA reference list. If you want to follow along later or recreate this on your own, you'll be able to copy the entire prompt word for word during the demo. Here's the prompt we will use. Create a complete academic research proposal that includes all eight standard sections. 1. A clear, keyword-rich title. 2. A 100-word abstract summarizing the issue, purpose, and direction of the study. 3. A research background section that summarizes existing literature and clearly identifies the knowledge gap. 4. One main research question and two to four sub-questions that are feasible and academically relevant. 5. A detailed methodology explaining data collection methods, sampling, research design, data analysis procedures, and expected limitations. 6. A significant section explaining why the study matters, its potential contribution, and who benefits from the research. 7. A realistic project timeline outlining the major phases of the research process. And 8. A reference list formatted in APA 7 style. Topic. The impact of artificial intelligence tools on student academic writing performance in higher education. This prompt includes everything Jenny needs to generate a full research proposal from start to finish. It covers all eight required sections. A strong, keyword-rich title, a clear 100-word abstract, a background section grounded in existing literature, well-structured research questions, a detailed methodology, a significant section, a realistic project timeline, and a full list of APA formatted references. Nothing is left out, and that's why this single instruction can produce a complete academic draft on its own. Once the full prompt is copied, we're ready to move into the generation step. And this is where Jenny turns that one block of text into a full, polished proposal. We're going to begin the actual writing process by opening a brand new document inside Genu.ai. Starting with a blank page keeps everything clean and makes it easy to see exactly what the AI is doing as we move through each step. Before we drop in the full master prompt, we'll do a quick warm-up just to show how Jenny handles regular academic writing. I'm going to type a simple opening line related to our topic, and you'll see Jenny instantly generate autocomplete suggestions. The tool starts building out coherent, academically structured sentences on its own, which is a great reminder that you can use it for step-by-step -step writing too. Not just big, fully automated drafts. It's a quick demonstration of how helpful Jenny can be, even in a normal writing workflow. Alright, now let's clear the test text and get ready for the main event. I'm going to paste the full master prompt, the one that contains all required sections of the research proposal, directly into Jenny's chat panel. Let's check if the entire prompt is visible because every part of it plays a role in generating a complete draft. When everything looks right, we'll click generate. This is where the magic happens. Jenny processes the instruction and produces an entire research proposal in a matter of seconds. The title appears first, followed by a clean 100-word abstract, then a full background section, properly formatted research questions, a detailed methodology, the significant section, a realistic timeline, and finally, a complete APA reference list. Every component of a formal proposal is built automatically from that one prompt. Once it's done, we'll walk through the entire document from top to bottom so you can see how each section came out. You can see here exactly what Jenny produced, how well it matches academic standards, and how the whole proposal fits together as a solid first draft. Now that we have a full first draft, we're not just gonna leave it as is. The next stage is all about refinement. We're going to go through the proposal section by section and use Jenny AI's tools to make everything clearer, more structured, and more academic. Here, we will be using Jenny's rewrite, improve, and expand options to clean up wording, adjust tone, and add detail where it's needed. I guarantee you, you'll see how easy it is to polish the draft inside Jenny instead of copying everything out to a separate editor. All right, we'll start right at the top with a title. I'm gonna highlight the generated title and use Jenny's read, write, and regenerate options to explore better variations. Each result gives us a slightly different version, some with clearer keywords, some with a more formal academic tone, and others that tighten the focus of the topic. 
we'll flick through a few of these alternatives, compare how they sound, and pick the one that best balances clarity, relevance, and academic style. This just shows how you can quickly cycle through multiple strong options instead of trying to craft the perfect title from scratch. Next, we're going to move down to the abstract. I'll highlight the entire section again and run it through Jenny's improvement tool so you can see how the AI handles something that needs to be tightened, concise, and academically polished at the same time. Jenny will tighten the language, clean up any awkward phrasing, and bring the length closer to the 100-word target the prompt I originally asked for. You'll notice the flow becomes smoother, the main points stand out more clearly, and the overall tone shifts into something that feels much more like a formal academic abstract. After the abstract, we're going to move into the research background section, the part that usually takes the longest to write because it depends so much on context, literature, and finding the right angle. I'll highlight the entire section and use Jenny's enhancement tools to build it out. Jenny is now expanding the discussion adding missing context and strengthening the explanation of the existing research. So the background feels more complete. You'll see the section gain more depth and a clearer academic tone, making it easier to understand what the topic is about and why the gap exists. The upgraded background usually ends up sounding richer, more structured, and much closer to what academic reviewers expect in a proposal. Now, we'll move on to the research questions, one of the most important parts of any proposal. Just like in other parts, I'm going to highlight both the main question and the sub-questions, then run them through Jenny's writing improvement tools. Jenny cleans up the phrasing, sharpens the focus, and makes each question more academically appropriate. The main question becomes clearer and more direct, and the sub-questions are now more specific, feasible, and logically connected to the study. We'll look through, we'll look through a few variations as Jenny suggests them, and we'll look through a few variations as Jenny suggests them, just to show how quickly the tool can refine this section. It usually takes only a couple of adjustments before the research questions sound polished and ready for an academic reviewer. Next, we're going to refine the methodology section, which is usually the most detailed and technical part of any proposal. I'll highlight the entire section again and apply Jenny's enhancement tools to strengthen the structure and clarity. Jenny expands on the research approach clarifies how data will be collected and analyzed, and cleans up the academic tone so the methodology reads as a well-organized, credible plan. The AI also fills in missing places, like sampling details or expected limitations, so the section feels more complete and methodologically sound. You'll notice that it becomes significantly more detailed than the raw initial output. Now, we'll move into the significant section, the part where you explain why the study matters and who benefits from it. We'll do the same thing here. After running this section, Jenny clarified the contribution of the research, made the reasoning more direct, and shaped the wording so it sounds purposeful and academically solid. This usually helps the section shift from sounding general or vague to something that clearly communicates impact and relevance. This section now has a stronger sense of direction and a clearer explanation of why the study is worth conducting. All right, we're now going to clean up the project timeline, the part that shows how the research will actually play out month by month. I'll select the entire schedule and run it through Jenny's enhancement tools. Jenny smoothens out the sequencing, tightens the descriptions, and makes sure each stage flows naturally into the next. This helps transform what might start as a basic list of steps into a timeline that actually feels organized, purposeful, and doable. We can all agree here that the timeline is now easier to read at a glance. The progression is more intentional, and the whole section ends up looking much more review ready. Since we are done refining all the parts of our proposal, it's time to take a look at citations. Citations are one of those parts of academic writing that nobody enjoys, but everyone has to get right. Even with AI helping us draft the proposal, the responsibility for accurate ethical referencing still sits with us. So in this part, we're going to look at how Jenny can make citations easier without replacing the need to double-check your sources. We'll open the citation panel and explore how quickly we can switch between APA, MLA, and Chicago styles, something that normally means juggling separate tools or 
constantly Googling formatting rules. From there, we'll try inserting citations directly into the document. So you can see how seamless it is to build properly referenced paragraphs. To show how Jenny handles real academic materials, we'll upload a PDF as well. Once it's in the system, Jenny can ground your writing in that document, pull accurate reference details, and generate a formatted entry automatically. It still needs a human review, but it takes a huge amount of manual work off your plate. Once the entire proposal was refined and everything looks the way we want, we'll move on to exporting the final document. Jenny gives us a few professional formats right out of the box. So in this part of the walkthrough, we'll open the export menu and look at the available options. We're going to generate both a docx file, which is perfect if you want to keep editing in Word or Google Docs, and a latex file for those submitting to universities or conferences that prefer academic formatting. Once we are done selecting an option, the download window pops up instantly, confirming that the proposal is ready to save just like any other formal research document. And that's the final step, the moment where the project leaves Jenny.ai and becomes a fully exportable submission-ready proposal. But the great thing is, this isn't a one-and-done situation. As your research evolves, if your questions shift, your methodology changes, or you find new sources, you can jump back into Jenny.ai and regenerate or update any section instantly. No need to rewrite huge chunks from scratch you just refine what's already there. Keep in mind, even though Jenny.ai can generate an entire research proposal from one prompt and help you refine every section afterward, the final responsibility still belongs to you. AI can speed up the writing process, organize your ideas, and even handle citations. But it can't replace your understanding of the topic or the academic standards you're working under. Always take time to read through each part of the proposal. Adjust the details so they match your actual research intentions and personalize the language where it matters. Now think of your AI as your writing partner. It gives you a complete draft in minutes, but the expertise, accuracy, and final polish have to come from you. This ensures that what you submit isn't just fast and well-structured, but genuinely aligned with your own work and academic goals. All right, you just watched an entire research proposal come together from one prompt. And that's exactly what makes Jenny.ai the best tool for writing a full proposal. It removes the usual stress, the guesswork, and the hours of trying to structure everything yourself. Give it a try. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.